It is my distinct pleasure to be here with you today at the Southern African Sub-Regional Forum on Artificial Intelligence, a forum organized by the Namibian government in collaboration with UNESCO to provide a mapping for the development and the use of artificial intelligence and to discuss key issues, challenges, and opportunities for the application of artificial intelligence in Southern Africa. Namibia started positioning herself for the artificial intelligence when President Hagi Genko appointed an eight-member task force in July of last year with a mission to assess Namibia's readiness for the fourth industrial revolution and make recommendations regarding policy and legislative framework. The establishment of this task force is set out under the Economic Advancement Pillar of the Harambe Prosperity Plan II, which states that the fourth industrial revolution has the potential to usher in a new set of disruptive and transformative opportunities for countries. Government recognized that if the fourth industrial revolution is not analyzed and studied appropriately, it has the ability to widen the inequality chasm and can materially diminish the ability of Namibians to grab the opportunities presented by the fourth industrial revolution. In recognition of the significance of this inflection point, a national fourth industrial revolution country assessment was commissioned to ascertain Namibia's digital labor profile, reskilling requirements, and the impact of artificial intelligence on labor cost dynamics and future of work. The task force presented its report to the government in July this year, and government is busy studying the recommendations in order to come up with the implementation plan. Further, the onset of COVID-19 pandemic and the prolonged global economic downturn have reaffirmed the need for inclusive, agile, and smart governance frameworks that are responsive to the need for efficient public service delivery. Hence, with all these efforts, Namibia tries to position herself strategically to leverage opportunities presented by the fourth industrial revolution by fostering agile governance principles and data-driven policy making on this important subject. Despite the efforts being put in place by different member states, Africa still lags behind other countries, particularly with regard to internet and technology access infrastructure and education. Strategic partnerships between government, academic institutions and industry will allow for the development of critical skills to move the continent forward. Industry, public sector and academia collaborations are fundamental to creating a thriving artificial intelligence ecosystem in Africa. Africa is endowed with a large workforce that will need to be re-skilled to adapt to the new reality that artificial intelligence and other advancements in technology and innovation will bring about. We should therefore actively leverage on our collective capacities as nations and institutions within the region by embracing the culture of collaboration. Countries with advanced infrastructure necessary to facilitate the adoption of artificial intelligence should share their experience and resources with others where necessary in order to avoid any kind of inequality like the one experienced in the development and distribution of COVID-19 vaccines. I am thus happy that the forum will formulate concrete recommendations for the development of a comprehensive action plan for the development of artificial intelligence in Southern Africa that could maximize its use in the attainment of the Sustainable Development Goals in Agenda 2063. The Namibian government is well aware that the potential benefits of the fourth industrial revolution and by extension artificial intelligence can only be realized if the current challenges around access to the internet, technology and infrastructure shortfalls and the, quality, and the quality of education are agently addressed. Artificial intelligence can play a crucial role in alleviation of most of the continent's developmental challenges. In line with the global sustainable development goals, 
artificial intelligence would play a critical role in our efforts to reduce poverty, inequality, revolutionizing our education system, improving our healthcare system, ensuring innovation-driven development, as well as advancing gender equality and inclusion. The time is now for our continent to harness the benefits of efficient allocation of resources to increase productivity and improving service. Artificial intelligence has the potential to generate new high-value jobs in key technical specialties such as cyber security, web development, big data analytics, robotics, and so forth. Therefore, the adoption of artificial intelligence will not only allow us to harness these benefits, but position the continent to develop tangible, responsive, and effective governance and policy frameworks for efficient decision making. I am happy to learn that this forum aims at unpacking ethical issues around sustainable usage of artificial intelligence. It is critical to ensure that our artificial intelligence systems are built to promote equality, fairness, inclusivity, accountability, and transparency. We should build systems which are ethically compliant, reliable, accountable, and secure at all levels to ensure data privacy and security. Considering that green hydrogen has become a widely recognized zero carbon emission energy source for commercial and industrial applications, the associated artificial intelligence based green hydrogen production technology can be a solution towards reduction of global warming. Namibia is well endowed with natural resources and has a world class potential for renewable energy production through solar and wind power. The need for authentication and validation of the greenness of the production of green hydrogen in Namibia will require critical skills in artificial intelligence and blockchain technology. Tracking the entire supply value chain of green hydrogen from production destination to end use destination will greatly benefit from artificial intelligence technology. Furthermore, there is a need for us to record on zero carbon emissions through the use of blockchain technology, the attained carbon credits can be tokenized as an asset class for our economy. Although the application of artificial intelligence techniques to green hydrogen production is still in its infancy, we commend the University of Namibia that has moved to establish a study program on blockchain to support efforts to develop artificial intelligence techniques for green hydrogen production. I see the Vice Chancellor of UNAMIC here. Thank you very much, to Professor Anisha Tinted. Ladies and gentlemen, as the entire fraternity of the Southern Africa Sub Sahara Regional Bloc, the Southern African Development Community, and of course, the entire African continent, I would like us to hold hands and pull our energy to come out of this forum motivated towards a common goal. With these few words, I now declare the Southern Africa Sub-Region Forum on Artificial Intelligence officially open. And I wish you good luck.